to just kind of turn a fight. This was a this was a textbook pick. I knew this Zeus was coming. I was gonna say it a little bit earlier and I totally blanked. It's like, this is just so no brainer. You see a Terror Blade, you even see the Vengeful Spirit. Like, this is just an easy Zeus game so far. All right, uh, tell me about this. Cause uh, oh, Zeus isn't the great. hero that I'm the most familiar with. I've actually not seen it taken this early so far this Five tournament. It's been seconds. taken- uh, I was gonna yeah, expect it at the end of this phase. Class. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, definitely yeah. was expecting it to be picked on the last phase here for zero, but uh, they could run in this as a support. We've seen them uh, take Rioya uh, and put this on the four position Zeus, and it did work. It was such a great game. And in this game, you, you can get away running a four position Zeus into a Terror Blade. Um, you, it's actually a pretty sick game. But either way, it's a, it's a good mid laner. If it ends up being a good mid lane Zeus, uh, matchup, but with Centaur War Runner, that's looking like it may not be the case. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Zeus, Zeus can play against most things in mid lane with just how they've uh, changed him around. Uh, mm -hmm. We saw for a little while the most popular build was that uh, you max out the Lightning Five Bolt, you put uh, your extra points in your passive, just as much damage per point of mana you could do to the enemy for a while. Yeah. But they nerfed the Lightning Bolt, uh, I think, damage and mana cost. Oh, yeah. Higher mana cost. Um, they increased the uh, sorry chain lightning damage by five. So one just been opting to go chain lightning in passive now, uh, and they just like get a farm advantage on the enemies. And of course, like you were saying, it's too good against a terror by taking out his illusions right away. Yeah, turning him into farm for you. Yeah, everything so, that I've seen has been the the max on the the chain lightning um, in yeah. these matchups, right? You just go that. You, a lot of people are going like four one one, uh, just to have a mini stun, but they don't even really. Or they'll go like 3 one, one uh, realistically. Sometimes they don't actually put the fourth point in there. Um, but sometimes early we'll see 2-0-2 two, two to start out the, the build for them. Just get those extra points in that static field. And they do a lot of damage. Like it clears waves. It's super strong in team fights, having that much damage coming out constantly. Um, and they respond with a gyrocopter, which this is a great pick. This secures gyro's lane very good against the centaur. Mm-hmm. And they and could still run this as a five position bane um, instead of the four position bane. Yes, yeah, they have a couple of options. Uh, it gives him more magical burst to deal with his Terror Blade as well. That's one of the better five things he can do, just due to the fact he has such high base armor. His agility growth rate, I think, highest uh, in the game at 4.8 per level. Uh, it's not physical damage you get to deal with the Terror Blade. I like this a lot. I really do. Uh, I'm surprised because I was thinking Morphling was going to be the pick here um, for zero. I mean, it's good against Centaur War Runner for the most part, unless you get caught out of position um, and you take like a, a quick war stomp into a few double edges. But mm -hmm. they will go ahead and take the Gyrocopter. It also probably just a safer pick. So bands out, they remove Storm Spirit from the mid lane. Uh, that makes me believe it's going to be a core Zeus. Almost no, like almost for sure, going to be a, a mid Zeus if they're going to ban out the Storm Spirit like that. Yeah, you were watching seconds. that one game, right? Uh, four Zoomers, Roya. Uh, he ended up switching over to like uh, support Zeus that kind of scaled in the core. Dude, he was so game. farmed that game. <laughs> yeah, he was yeah, so farmed. But but they had no other option. I mean, they were playing against the Brood Mother in the mid lane. Uh, yeah, they they put Snake King against him too. It ended up working, even though they did lose the game in the end. I feel like uh, yeah, it was it was close. That was a really close game. I yeah. thought based on draft, I was like, there's no way Zoomers lose this. And then they make the rotation, move Rio to four. They put you know Snake King Earth Spirit mid, which is statistically a really good matchup for Earth Spirit. It almost always beats Brood Mother. Um, and we saw you know Monkeys had a really rough game. Yeah, like he's uh, <laughs> did have a very rough game. I you love to see spider or sorry spiders Ten stroking seconds. out again get smashed though. It's it's supposed to be a gentleman's game, Dota two. You pick Broodmother, you break the agreement. Uh, it's only fair what they did to him. Yeah. Dying All right, seconds. last pick here. Where do we go? The Ember Spirit. Spirit. Okay. So <laughs> we're sitting here the whole time like, yeah, it'll be a mid Zeus, no big, and then we just get the Ember Spirit. Um. You can run the Ember 4, right? So there is still some kind of a question. Uh, a page out of the four Zoomers book, it would seem. We just get the exact same game? What's going on here? I don't like this. Again, this is a gentleman's game, Hiko. You don't just get to go Broodmother. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. So it is going to be Rioya Ember. They're going to have to play Zeus in the support. There's no choice at this point. Um, so I guess... 
like zero did at least hedge their bet being like what if they pick brood mother we do have to have a solid mid matchup so they pick the ember but oh man that is uh this is gonna be an interesting game i don't know how exactly how i feel about that draft yeah we'll see uh for sure you can deal with the the brood mother spiders again uh if he has a bunch of spiders grouped up and you can't micro them that well you max out your flame guard you slate a fist on them. They you burn. end up spending yeah, you spend so much time around them inside your slate of fist they just burn. <laughs> You're it's like, I'm really gonna go, uh, to I'm gonna go take a yeah. sip of tea real quick while I, <laughs> I finish this slide of fist for the next 30 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. yeah, it's a good time. No, not tea, but uh, monster energy may uh, have. Yeah, yeah, my bad. I of course. Mm -hmm. That's that's exactly what I meant. Yeah. Is they, do they have a tea? Is there like a tea version of Monster? Can they get on that? There is. Uh, I've got a couple in the fridge. I got some green teas and I've got uh, some white tea Monster energies. My roommate's a big fan of the green tea ones. Uh, she asked that I pick up a couple. Dude, I'm about that. Sign me up. I am a uh, Monster Energy historian. I appreciate that. We need. We definitely need the those type of people on uh, around. You know, where where would we be? Probably uh, energy less, to be honest <laughs> with you. How would you function? Yeah, true. All right, we've done it. Game two. Zero versus Liberty. Obviously, zero up the, the one game. It is a best of two series, obviously. And uh, check out the lanes here. So nothing out of the ordinary. Pretty much all what we expected. The This four position, Zeus, just going to, I'm assuming, drop a ward and then head top. Now, do you go Bolt on four Zeus, or do you still go the Arc Lightning build? Uh, I, I feel like if you go the arc lightning, you need to be farming up creeps, and then you're stealing uh, from everyone else on your team. Yeah, and Brax's not going to be happy about that. You've got a greedy three on Brax. It's a blood seeker, right? Yeah. Yeah. So they're starting bottom. Pretty, pretty standard stuff here. And the question is, uh, whether or not this brood's really going to pop off this game. You can go either way. Uh, again, it depends on your ability you rotate in. When they played uh, the other day against four Zoomers and the Broodmother, they have the... Liberty's got five, like four heroes here, and they see Envy and Snake King. This could be a, a go for them, but Broodmother is just such a weak level one hero. <laughs> and yeah. it almost just feels like a creep. And Duster is going to get a missile thrown on him. 1437 wraps around. First blood going to Rioja. Nice war stomp there, holding the Zeus down. They trade support for support, but... Uh, Definitely favoring zeros. He gets the first blood on on the mid lane Ember Spirit. Exactly. And then we're talking about how this mid lane goes really to determine the match. And uh, starting with that rape ban is going to make things a lot easier. You get the bonus armor. Uh, of course, every hero has the built in scout shield now, melee hero, anyways. So you're not going to really be able to uh, burst him down like you otherwise like to be able to on the Broodmother. I'm really curious about how this mid lane is going to go because level one is definitely just going to go to the side of ember uh he does go slide of fist one uh to secure that kill normally i think you want that flame guard to just kind of shove the lane but yeah. it doesn't really matter too much he should be able to free cs this one of the nice things about the flame guard in this scenario yeah he just harassing he out of lane at the earlier levels i believe yeah it was uh your movement speed was nerfed no it was buffed at the early levels Nerfed at the later levels. My bad. Not that it matters, mother. he's moving slow. Broodmother, spin web. Yeah. Yeah, but by 5% at early levels. The 90 was ridiculous. Yeah, there's so many so many changes. It also, the big thing I think was nerfing her movement speed in, in the Aghanim Scepter, right? That was a big part of it. The top Uncapped. lane, kind of just trading for the most part. RDO obviously going meta level 1, but it is about to expire. They did get a good range deny there um, at the beginning, though. Yep. It's uh, something a lot of Terrorblade do again because uh, your agility growth rate, as long as you can secure that first wave or two, bottom lane. That was so close. A little bit of a miscommunication. Sexy Fat just was not ready for that telekinesis. If they hit, that might have been a kill. Because um, he was holding. He was holding, but. Yeah. Hoofstom was. Hoofstom got such such a big buff, I feel like, when they, when they did it recently. Yeah, uh, it's going back to kind of uh, the way that it used to be. It used to scale a little bit better for damage and stun duration at the early levels, but they've nerfed all the early level stuns in Dota. Of course, so under the tower it. going for a courier, a nice hoof stomp from Sexy Fat. Can they get the kill in the bot lane onto the Bane? He will go ahead and get that Brain Sap to stay alive. Sexy Fat does trade, and they lose the Vengeful Spirit. What, what are you doing over there, brother? Uh, they just uh, get him behind the tower. 
too Curse. far forward there. He ends up getting uh, killed there by the uh, blood right as well. Yeah. Up there. Camera was at bottom. Yeah, I mean that was Thelacor like went for that courier and just dove a little <laughs> bit too far. <laughs> Wants to make life easier for his mid laner. Again, first blood given to Roya. If you can get a couple uh, courier kills, if you're giving him extra CS. Yeah. So you were exactly right. Roya is maxing the flame guard against this uh, broodmother in the mid lane just to pop it right before using that sleight of fist. Pretty good matchup overall. Doesn't really mind too much. He's going to farm pretty evenly in the mid lane. Obviously, broodmother will start to pull away once he's, you know, level five. Um, has a lot more mobility to get to and from these lanes, especially once he has the soul ring as well. Which I'm assuming yeah. he's going soul ring. Uh, yep. Wait, no, that's medallion. What is he going? That'll work. Uh, yeah, he's going medallion. Yeah, look how careful uh, Higo has to be with these spiders. Again, whenever he has flame guard up, he just pulls them back. Yeah, I saw him moving Stop two playing. different groups around. Ooh, they might get the Vengeful Spirit here again. One more arc fighting, but it's not going to be enough. Brax doesn't want to chase that far under the tower. Buster will salve. Dude, this arc fighting is doing... Denied. It is doing work. I mean, I was wrong. I thought he'd end up going the Lightning Bolt, uh, but the DPS comes out much faster at the early levels with the Dark Lightning. Ooh, nice stun right into that meta. Brax will drop, drop that blood right. Duster gets caught by it, and he's running the wrong way, sir. One uh, auto attack here from Snaking will find the kill. Brax will salve up. RDO forced to back now. No mana left on the Zeus, though. But he does have these double null tallies, which give him a little bit of extra mana regen. Uh, he even queues up a third one, I think, <laughs> and some boots. Maybe that's uh, just one of those little UI bugs. Bottom lane actually missed a kill there onto Dila and they're going to keep chasing onto Sexy Fat. No mana left on the Bane. Does have a mango for a brain sap. They might be able to get it. Nope. Salve's up on it. I think if Andrew was going to pop that salve, he could have dove, but uh, he will be able to stay alive. Dude, all three lanes are just duking it out. Yeah, and uh, Hiko was dropping a little bit low here. Just uh, watch out for Roya hitting this level 6. He also has his haste. I think next time his flame guard is off of cooldown, he might just try to run Hiko down here. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd expect. He's got that level 3 flame guard. Hiko does salve, though. So smart play by him, knowing that there's no harassment to come out for a little bit. Yep. Zeus top lane falling low, but... No help there from RDO on the Terrorblade. Duster just trying to go for the rune, it looks like, but Snake King's damage as well as the Blood Rite, just way too much. I think he might be able to... Eh, um, one more attack? Oh my gosh, that feels bad. <laughs> you know, he went for it. You gotta respect it. He went for it. Uh, three bounty runes going over to zero. Yeah, make things even better for them, and... Uh... Again, you do have the early game lineup with this Brood Brother. You will fall off. Uh, eventually, it's not easy for you to hide here against the Zeus, and Ember's always going to have that chase for you, especially as the game goes on. <coughs> yeah, look at him clean up these spiders already. It's only three gold apiece, but it slows down uh, the Brood Mother's game quite a bit. Bottom lane, the sleep into Missile. They've done it time and time again. Envy does get telekinesis up into the hoof stop. There is no double edge. They actually went for two points and retaliate. Just a little bizarre. I think no, I, I don't really see that that often. No, you don't. Uh, it really depends who you're up against. Uh, again, some people only have uh, right clicks to harass, but they have a lot of magic damage to deal with in this bottom lane. The homing missiles, uh, the rocket barrage, the brain sap. Not really a problem. DD rune picked up here on Ember Spirit. Rax is a little out of position top lane, and they're going to go ahead and open with that magic missile, that wave of terror. Ardeo trying to close the gap at 35 HP. Can Brax juke it out, but Ardeo reads it. Long low Duster looking to jump in here. Does have a magic missile. Will secure the kill there with it. Now Brax, with his dying breath, does at least give Snaking a little bit of help there. Finding that kill over onto that Vengeful Spirit. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, I think he just didn't realize how far away Snaking was. I think he was placing that ward that we see in the in the jungle over there. It's a little bit too far out. He doesn't realize how many null talismans this man has. Absolute unit here. <laughs> Dude, triple null tally, man. So much magic damage. Each of these arc lightings is 136 damage. I don't see these in my games. Four position Zeus. Real fun if you're a Terror Blade. Kappa, nice Sunder there onto the Bloodseeker just to reset the lane a little bit. Brax just TP'd back, so he's gonna have to get some health back off of these creeps. 
We are looking for Duster. It just backfired completely. <laughs> Can he dive under the tower for the kill? Will get him. Gets a little bit of health back. RDO now falling low. No mana left on the Snake King, so he is safe for the time being. This is the Veil reveal as well. They just got Veil on Brax before coming out here. Uh, bottom lane, another combination from that Rocket Nightmare. They get that uh, Centaur. And this is kind of what I expected out of this lane. This is just a definite favored lane for the Gyrocopter into the Centaur. Uh, zero points in double edge, I think, just more amplifies that. So much blood. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you get the Retaliate. You think that you're not going to be able to like, spend your own HP to use that double edge. The Retaliate really doesn't feel like it's doing anything. I think you just like, max out the host top. Get that... Uh, uh, cloak as quickly as possible, I feel. Uh, yeah, I think cloak it's a mistake so committing to all these items. Finishing your wand can actually be kind of bad a lot of times. You're spending 150 gold on a recipe, it just gives you one stat. And the cloak is only stat. 150 gold. <laughs> value stat. <laughs> Super value stat. No, um, it looks like he's going for the Hood of Defiance based on the, the yeah. two rings that he's got here, but hasn't quite made his way on over to the cloak, which the regen does definitely help. But, uh, yeah, it seems to be struggling a little bit. Envy just jungling a little bit for the time being, trying to get some solo experience on over to 1437 on the Bane, which, I mean, Fiend's Grip this game is so strong if he's able to find, like, a good target. Stampede obviously offers no assistance there. Terror Blade is just easy food for that. They have level 6 on the Zeus already. Oh, my gosh. That's one of the reasons why uh, Bane is such a strong support hero. Ooh, the Bane. Just, Slide uh, a fist in the mid lane, oh my god. <laughs> How yeah, long does that last? A step every time this happens, you know? Oh my gosh. It's off cooldown by the time it was uh by the time it finished. So funny. But uh, as I was trying to say before, the uh very long slate of fist came out. Uh Bane is one of the, the better supports, uh, just for the fact that he can move around the map, he can nightmare people up and shut down split pushing by himself because of the length of his disable he's able to have multiple heroes in the system but nobody's coming for you this time around you're the position five you're <laughs> yeah, not worth saving no one really cares about about the position five. Oh, enemies actually by finding a kill a call down comes out as well that's a it somehow pans out Envy turning on the damage here. I mean, he's level four rocket barrage doing some serious work. Nice dodge on that hoof stomp. He can keep chasing if he likes. Envy is obviously watching enough anime to understand the power of friendship, and he comes back. Look who, to uh, look who's here, Rioya. Chasing after. Oh, the Thunder God's Wrath actually is all that's needed. Sexy Pat ends up popping that stampede, but Rioya's under that haste rune. Nice stomp there, but he can keep chasing. Another Remnant forward does have the Flame Guard and a Slide of Fist should be enough to secure the kill, and it ends up netting them three in the long run. Roy actually tried to dodge that uh, hoof stomp there with his Slide of Fist, and 14 was a little bit off the mark. Not that it really mattered, just saved him. Uh, it's been a waste of a little bit of extra time. Yeah. I mean, they are, Zero's looking really strong again. The lane's definitely going in their favor. It's 12 to 3. Brax top lane might be in some trouble as either four pops up that stolen level 4 blood right. And with RDO, they might be able to bring him down here with the damage. Just pops that wand. He's out. Movement speed's uh, slowly going up. It's yeah. <laughs> it's... Kiko takes damage there to the Flame Garden Slide of Fist. What's that, uh, what's that meme? F upward pointing graph? I think oh. it's... Stonks. <laughs> Stonks. <laughs> Dire structures are fortified. I think that's what the zoomers are calling it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's new hot memes. Yeah, we we need a we had a resident zoomer here to fill us old people in on the memes. Uh, top lane. Uh, Ardio's already taken the stack, so they're a little bit late to the game here, but. I'll be honest, I was a, I, I thought Bloodseeker was somewhat of a sleeper hero. Seeing him played now more and more in the offlane uh, is pretty fun. This Veil build is, is spicy. It's a good time indeed. Some games it works out, but... He, go, he caught him with the chains, no way! He even with the Fiend's Grip! That's yeah, some hate, well. man. <laughs> 1437 with a drive-by. That was really well done by Ryo. I mean, he was just sitting there, counting out each of those uh, hits on that slide of fist, and gave himself the best chance for that searing chain. Pay to lose uh, blood right. Yeah. <laughs> See the green one on the ground. Look at the flame card. 
It's pretty nice. I mean, you can just go to the jungle for a little bit on Field of Core if you've got yeah, that Yeah, it's one. level four, right? You can go jungle it up right now. Farm some waves. Anytime Rubik gets these, like, really nice farming abilities, is a uh, feels good if you're a Rubik. I mean, you are a Rubik player, right? So you know. Yeah. I usually lose games by, like, you know, I get a, a dragon slave, and I go, okay, team, you're on your own. I'm heading to the jungle for a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like, you guys can do it. To my allies. <laughs> Bottom lane, the nightmare. A level one arrow might be all that's... Or arrow? That is called a missile. Uh, stampede into the stomp. Actually doesn't get the stomp off quite, a, quite yet. 1437 held down. There is that call down. Second bat first to go down. The second call down missile gets a double kill for Envy, the Thunder God's Wrath. Giving so much assist damage on over the side of zero and uh, not panning out there for the side of uh, Liberty. It looked like they really w oh mid lane Hiko gets ruptured and a kill going their way again. Yeah, takes advantage of that extra movement speed that he got uh, from those two heroes going down and Rubik sitting so low. He's able to run down the brood mother inside the webs because of it. Yeah, crazy when you get run down inside your spider webs. And uh, you can't get away from Ryoya because he's busy sleight of fisting 100 spiders, right? So. Yep. Just burning up. So, I mean, this is this is an, an even stronger start to the game here from Zero. They're now 6,000 up. It's about 13 and a half minutes into the game. They get the Maelstrom finish on the Ember Spirit. Really big fan of this item. Super strong against uh, the Terror Blade, but also with the Broodmother here. It's just a, an easy farm on all of those spiders and he queues up the radiance after that so he's he's all in on this magic build which is super sick yeah uh, and that much more important to finish up that uh cloak and or pipe on the centaur but he's actually opting to go for a blink dagger instead of building the ring of regen and the ring of health uh it is important to get kills to get back into the game again the first thing you have to worry about is not uh, your ability to stay alive in team fights but bring enemy heroes down if you're losing yeah. Definitely want that burst damage. That's uh, what I think anyway. Some of you might disagree, but you'd be wrong. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, smoke up, head and bottom here on zero. They're going to run into Hiko. The question is, can they actually get the feed script? Nice Orchid comes out from the Broodmother, but the call down is there. Rack stuck around on the backside. Bloodright does hold him. Centaur brought down as well. A trade one for one, but Broodmother is all alone, baby. I mean, there's no way out. You get the Thirst Vision and about 100 damage if they can get it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, now he's in trouble. Brax is busy zooming around on the other side of the map, just punishing these supports for their existence in this game. Uh, and they end up getting the brood mother anyway. Yeah, I don't think uh, Brax knew how many points the Vengeful Spirit had in this magic missile, so he was afraid to dive him under the tower. Uh, I didn't know the cooldown of it. Yeah, I mean, that's just that's a safe play, right? No reason to feed. You're really far ahead at this point. The Terror Blade, really your only concern has that Sanjinyasha completed. But uh, I had to put my glasses on a moment ago just to double check some things. Can you tell me where Zeus is on this net worth chart? Ooh, my. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's a, 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 a every single hero on the enemy team except for the Terror Blade. Yeah, Ryoya just uh, managed to bring down Duster. I think he could chase Sexy Fat if he had some help, but obviously no real need to. Just zoning him off this tier one tower mid, and they're gonna be able to bring it down. He has he went triple null tally boots of travel. Th this is this is the most Chad snaking like Zeus build I think I've ever seen. You normally flame this if you see this from your support. Oh yeah, if this is your if this is a pub you game, you're like flaming staff. this guy. Okay, Kiko just died bottom. A feed script not even committed. How did he get this kill? Oh, rupture. That would that would do it. Yep. Ryo really comes back in. The smoke immediately popped. Oh no. Okay, this is looking really bad. Brax searching for the boys. Ardio pops the meta. I mean, this is his time to shine. He is he doesn't have many other choices this game to try and do something here. They will get a stomp onto 1437, bring him down. Ember Spirit does get out as well as Brax on the Bloodseeker, but they're not quite done here on the side of Liberty. They want to find these kills. They have Blink Host Stomp up. Stampede is available. Stampede for what, though? I don't think you want to run into the enemies. I think if you commit too hard, they turn around, they start killing you. Oh, the Thunder God's Wrath. Ardeo trying to get out. The Sunder does keep him a little bit alive, but the boys are chasing him down the slight chains. Brax finds the kill. Sexy Fat at least brings down the Ember Spirit on the backside, but... He got the only hero that really matters on the side of Liberty, which is this Terror Blade. And slowing his game down is so, so uh, important for the side of uh, Zero. And the Rupture comes out even onto the Centaur. 
He gets taken down by the tower. It's just one after another. Yeah, it's, it is a slaughter. 25 to 6 right now. I mean, you did just get, uh, what, three kills there on Haven Liberty? You doubled your kill score in the last minute or two, but you didn't close that net worth gap after losing the most important team hero on your team, like you said, that Terra Blade. He's about to get uh, passed by Zeus. You know, like, that's that's not a good a good sign. <laughs> good luck for your position one. Now getting passed by the enemy position four. Uh, one mistake that uh, I did see in that last team fight by Zero is I'm pretty sure Roya had Flame Guard up before he got hit by that uh, Stampede magic damage in the stomp. I think he might have been able to survive there. Yeah, actually, I think you are correct. I did see that. Uh, four heroes here. They're trying to defend the room, but here come the Slide of Fists. Oh my gosh, they're grouping up. They need to back. <laughs> oh my goodness. Back off cooldown again. Duster just taking so much damage. Brax, a zoomer at this point, trying to find these heroes. He will run into Sexy Pad. No rupture, but it is just giving him the vision that they need. Bring down the Centaur, and it will go to the way of Rioya's Searing Chains. Mid lane, Envy looking for RDO. There's the call down, the missile on the mark as well. He's not willing to give this man any breathing room. And here comes Brax, here comes Roya. That's a silence, man. They got him. Double kill for Rioya. Those triple, it was a double remnant? Or I think it was double remnant right on top of him. Yeah. I mean, they are just all over the map. Is, uh, when you drop all your remnants on the enemy heroes to get the kill and then die immediately after because you got no way out. Yeah, it's always it feels good. But yeah, they are looking really strong. A Grove Bow picked up on Rioya. Uh, I actually would have been okay with him taking it, considering he's got this Maelstrom Flame Guard against the, these you know, heroes. You're right. You're applying it to every single hero. Yeah, you apply well, it to right? everyone. You slide a fist, and you just get more. You get more procs. I was like, I would have been okay with him actually holding on to that. But uh, maybe a little refrain from such a bizarre idea 1437 oh they have a yules on brax i was like does he get the tp out not likely just trying to run away but thunder god's wrath plus rupture just far too much that is a wild amount of damage from look at this death summary yeah yeah it was, it was, he's taking like a thousand damage a second inside that one he died very quickly uh Ryoya is just going ham and is dead for it so i don't know i i like didn't quite see how he got there but could have been a smoke gank out from Liberty, and they do uh, bring down the Ember Spear without losing much of anything. Brax, 600 MS Bugatti running around the map right now. I love my Bu Bugattis. Yeah. That's uh, pretty deep, though, as you were saying on Roy. Uh, uh, yeah, the jumping the enemy triangle when you don't have your allies around, you are winning, but that's how you stop winning for sure. Yeah, that's how, <laughs> that's how you just that's how you decide to not win. Um, <laughs> Zeus uh, actually passed Terrorblade there for a hot second, but those couple bounty runes that kind of reset it. But yeah, I mean, you basically have the top four net worth being held by zero to an extent, right? Like the the Terrorblade is is neck and neck with this Ember Spirit and Zeus, but the other heroes, like for instance, the Broodmother, are so far behind. Yeah, you definitely uh, didn't brood this game. This is not what you wanted to see. The Ember Spirit just did too well against, again, just running at him with the Flame Guard active, uh, the uh, six second length slate of fists, definitely a problem. The the heroes here, they're gonna defend, rupture out onto RDO, and they managed to get a quick kill onto both of the supports from those slide of fists Maelstrom procs. RDO, Able to survive the time being, does have a stutter, but Brax is just hiding in the trees and he can't get it off. Oh my gosh. This is just a disaster for Liberty. I mean, this is what I was talking about in the drafting phase, the shoe being on the, the other foot with the amount of aggression that they have from Team Zero, but uh, it's even worse than that. You did just get your first Tier 1 tower, but uh, I don't see a way back into them for Haven Liberty. That's the difference between them and... Uh, what they were doing to Team Zero last game. You had the PA to get back in. Terrorblade just isn't enough. Uh, I feel like he gets burst down too quickly. Watch Heiko. He's, be He's in trouble. He does get the Orchid, but there's the Fiend's Grip. Oh no, into the blood, right? Blarood Mother trying his absolute best to cut these waves, but uh, Zero knew it was going to happen. They smoked it up and waited for it. Mid lane, Ember Spirit might be caught out here. They have the chain stuns. And some assist there from the Zeus, and he's just gonna turn it. Oh my gosh, the Thunder God's Wrath once again. Rioya, double remnants forward, does have another one to get away, and he will. Blood right on the mark. They have a slight chains in two seconds, but not gonna be able to get within range, it looks like. Dude, they are just dying. Sexy Fat goes back in. Uh, 
Stampede, Sexy Fat's now out, but you don't find anything there. RDO is just not close enough to put in that damage. No, he has to be careful. Only 1600 max HP. We've seen how fast they go through this. The Aghanim Scepter up, Thunder God. Well, Thunder God's Wrath wasn't available, but if Bloodseeker gets in there, veils you, you go 100 to 0 very, very quickly. Yeah. I mean, this Zeus is doing some of the most, like, almost as much damage as any other core in this game, if not more. Like, at the end of this game, I'm going to be really surprised to see how much damage Snaking has managed to uh, accumulate. Oh, it'll be more than that, for sure. Well, Roshan number one, the Dire Scan it, but, uh, I mean, there's no way you can test this, right? Like, you have a brood mother. What are you going to do at Roshan? MKB finished on Eternal Envy. Oh my, I'm not sure what to do at this point. Again, the, you had the uh, the incapacitating bite to uh, to hit Envy with, but Dyer's even if you did manage to get on to him with that one, I, I don't think you have a way to kill him. Now you're not slowing down his auto attack damage because he got the true strike. Uh, yeah, and uh, even on top of it, like Broodmother doesn't have the items to get on top of him in the first place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Goodbye, spiders. <laughs> Uh, I would say the Broodmother has an Orchid and a Medallion, right? No Aghanim Scepter, no BKB. Like, you can't get on top of the Gyrocopter and fight this anymore. Yeah, uh, MB just limiting your already Rupture very limited options. Terribly. No Yule. Goodbye. Oh, there's the other Yules. I was like, no Yules from Blood Bloodseeker, but they have it. 1437. They're just staying outside of that uh, Sunder range. To see. Toying with their prey at this point. Yeah. And, uh, uh, 23k net worth up. 23 minutes into the game uh, your Aegis is available. I think uh, after these next couple of uh, you're going Kaya Yasha on the position for Zeus I mean, why four. not? It's actually so good that the the mana regen as well as the uh, Spell amp is just is just wild. Oh, they just called it GG. Yeah, they're done mm -hmm. Ended with the 420 movement speed on Zeus very dank <laughs> <laughs> Very tank way to end the game, indeed. Oh my goodness, what a game! Yeah, it's, uh, she was on the other foot this game, but they had no way back in. Uh, zero, you know, finally like, uh, they're shaping up. Yeah, it's not like last game. Envy is able to just sit on the dire side of the map and just farm, but you can't do that against a Zeus Bloodseeker. They're gonna find you and they're gonna punish you. And uh, man, was that a a very convincing win coming out from zero? Yeah. I want to see the damage done here. Where was this? Okay. That. That is the number one damage dealt on your four position Zeus. Just barely beating out Rioya's Ember Spirit. <laughs> That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. I mean, we said the four position Zeus really good into the Terror Blade, even in, uh, if you don't have to run it as a core. And yeah. Uh, the, uh, there's, I, don't, I don't know what else you can really say about that game. That was just zero from minute one. And when uh, the Terrorblade Illusions just become extra farm uh, that they're putting on the map for Snake King, you know, that's that game over pretty quickly. Um, that ends up that series. And uh, what do we got next on the menu here for everybody? Ooh, I'm glad you asked. Next up on the menu, we're going to have uh, Quincy Crew versus the one and only Infamous, one of the uh, stronger teams out of South America. And... Quincy Crew, I think a lot of people consider to be probably the top in both regions, right? They've just consistently been one or two um, for the last several months. And I'm really excited for this game. Infamous has shown up, played some sick games. Um, yeah, should be a good one. Looking forward to it. Uh, that being said, we're going to go to a uh, short break. So thank you all for watching so far. And we'll be back with our next series. Again, Quincy Crew versus Infamous.